going to be envelope wrapping. We're going to envelope wrap an instrument tray full of instruments, a basin set, and a four pack and eight pack of towels, okay? So your first thing when envelope wrapping is to obtain your wrap. Your wrap is called a chem guard. They come in different sizes and different plies. So this is double and it's extra thick. Then you have, excuse me, your single, which is a little thinner, but it's still just as effective. So you need to also know the size that you're going to need based upon what you're wrapping. Yep. We're going to start yeah. with the towels, yeah. so I'm going yeah. to use yeah. something yeah. smaller. Yeah. 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 Please stop. Alright, so we're going to do our four pack of towels first. So you need to have four towels, one, two, three, and four. Make sure they're folded. Have your chem guard in a diamond when you lay it on the table. So I have it like this, laying directly in front of me. I place my towels right in the middle of the chem guard. And then I place an indicator, which will change once the item has been sterilized. So when you go to wrap, you're going to take the flap closest to you. You're going to come up and over, leaving a tab. Then you're gonna to go to the side. I usually work right to left. And you're gonna pull up and over to the side. I repeat that same thing on the left. Up and over with a tab. And then I'm going to put my top nice and tight. This is your final one, so you make sure everything comes together nicely. Up and over. So this is what I have now. And then I'm going to take this and tuck it inside. Just like that. Tuck it in. And now I have a tab sticking out. And then I'm going to use my tape for my little tape dispenser. Thank you. And I'm going to tape it partially over the tab, not all the way. I still want to make sure I can grab it. And then you're going to label it. With the date. So for, for 2020, what the contents is. So this is a four pack of towels and then my initial. So you put the initial of whoever's packing, okay? Now the eight pack of towels is the same thing. It's just you have a couple more towels. So we're gonna grab a chem guard. We're going to check it, make sure there are no holes. Again, we're gonna place it in the diamond. This time you're going to get an overhead view. Grab the camera, please. And come this way so they can see what I'm doing here. Okay? So now we're going to get eight towels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight towels. Place them right in the middle of my diamond. Get my indicator, which is going to change once it gets sterilized. So again, I have my tab closest to me. We're gonna come up and over. Right side, I like to tuck it in so it gives makes it a little more taut on the sides. Come, pull this up and over. Left side, same thing, up and over. I like to make my, make sure everything is nice and neat and tight. My final one, up and over. And you're going to, inside that mouth of all the fold you made, you're going to tuck this in. And it's wrapped. Now I'm going to get my tape. 
Thank you, little dispenser. Again, we're going partially over the tab, and you're going to label it with the date, what it is. So this is an eight pack of towels and my initials, okay? All right, now we're going to do a basin set. So I have obviously a much larger chem guard. It's free of holes, it's brand new. We're going to lay it in this diamond shape again. And then you take your large basin right in the middle, your towel opened inside. This is to collect any moisture from sterilization. And then your kidney basin and your small basin. Some people lay them flat. I like them more at an angle. This reduces the risk of moisture being stuck inside. And then your indicator, you want your indicator to be present. So I make sure it's somewhere on the towel where you can see once it's opened. So again, we're taking our flap closest to us. We're coming up and over. To the right. I know it seems hard because you're putting a circled shape inside a square wrap. It will work. You just have to make sure you're tucking when you can. So I pull my sides a little bit and I come up and over. Tighten everything out. Make a flap. And then when I get to the top, I get my two sides tight in like this. And then I pull up and over. Once again, inside the mouth, I fold my flap, leaving a tab to pull, okay? Then you would label it. Well, you gotta tape it first, sorry. This blue painter's tape that I'm using indicates the <clears throat> indicator tape that you'll use when you're actually in SPD. It changes once the item has been sterilized. So again, date, what it is, a basin set, and the initials of the person who sterilized it, okay? Nice, tight, clean. And then for the very last one, we're going to do an instrument set. So I'm using the heavier of the chem guards because the instrument set is heavy, it has a lot of weight to it, and it has sharp edges. It runs the risk of being punctured, okay? So you wanna use something that's durable and heavy. So first things first, my chem guards in the same diamond. I take a towel and I lay that in the middle for protection from the edges of the instrument tray. So my instrument tray is here. Lay that in the middle. Make sure everything's flat and smooth. Make sure all my instruments are on their stringer in nice order. Okay, everything's nice, neat. And then I'm going to take my indicator and stick it right in the corner where it can be seen. They choose the corners because they're the hardest parts for the sterilization to get to, okay? So from here, we're gonna envelope wrap. We're going to go flat closest to me, up and over. Make my sides tight. Bring my right over. Leaving a, 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 a tab, sorry. Then I take my left, tighten that on the side. Bring that up and over. Leaving a tab. Okay. 
And then from here, I take my right and my left and I kind of, not tucking them under the tray, but just push them in so it brings my edges to a point. And then pull that flat up and over, nice and tight. And again, we're going to stick it in the mouth of the flaps that we already have, leaving a nice tab. Okay, from there, we're going to take Place my tape on, partially over the tab, not all the way. And this tape's longer, so it's gonna go to the bottom. Once again, labeling it. Today's date, the date that has been sterilized, what it is, so this is a minor tray, and the initials of the person who wrapped it, okay? So as you can see, it is a perfect, put it down some, envelope wrap, okay?